Welcome back to BT Live at Rogers Center. Meredith Shaw, Sitz Xero here with you. Happy Jays home opener to you and yours. Seattle and the Jays live on Sportsnet tonight. Coverage begins at 6 p.m. Eastern. So the Jays are back in town. Everyone's excited to see how the team's going to do. But that is just part of the story. Phase two of the renovations here at Rogers Center are done. And they weren't that expensive. <laughs> They, sure. were, they were pretty expensive. <laughs> but with that said, it was well worth it. We got seats angled towards home plate. We have padded seats. We have cup holders here at Rogers Center. We're actually using them and right using now, Sid. We put our waters in them. Yeah. <laughs> Barney, Barney Starkman is the EVP of business operations here at Rogers Center and has lived this construction life for the better part of how many years, Marty? <laughs> two years. Two years. Going on four years, potentially, but two years in it. You know what? Congratulations. Because yeah. honestly, wow. the outfield district last year, what's happening here, and we're going to turn the camera around here momentarily and let you see it. It looks phenomenal. Marty, how does it feel to be basically done? I know there's some, some work with the suites that's still being done, but what's the feeling right now? Yeah, first of all, we are not done. <laughs> Second of all, I think pride. Like, the congratulations does not go to me. There's a massive team behind this, which is Blue Jays staff that live and breathe this each and every day. And then, honestly, 2,500-plus workers, tradesmen and women who have worked, you know, double shift to really make an 18 month project done in five months. And I think, yeah, we're ready to play baseball today and it looks great up here. There's still a lot of work happening beneath us. And we look forward to by mid July saying, OK, this portion of it's done, but we're never done. You know that we keep you know, focusing on the fan and what we can do each and every day, but exciting day today and want to make sure that fans get to experience it. Well, I know so many fans super excited to get down here tonight and also, you know, just to sort of experience the exclusivity that we're offering right now. When you think about turning the stadium into a ballpark, there are a lot of changes, uh, maybe some subtle, but but we're standing in them right now. Uh, speak to some of those, the yeah. angles in particular. So what we really did was take this bowl down to nothing, nothing. When we looked out here in February, there was nothing. Yeah. <laughs> and now there's a lot and of things. Still here. There are many things now in five months. Yeah. So we've rebuilt the bowl and built it for a ballpark. So mm. the, the stands used to rotate so that everyone sort of looked into center field, really. So the bull was rebuilt on a different angle, more leg room, wider seats, and now you're looking at the pitcher's mound at home plate, and that's really what it was about. The focus was the seating bowl, uh, and then it just connected to the first phase with the outfield district. So that was really where the core part of the, the job was this offseason, and like I said, it was an, an insane amount of work that we're so happy has come together the way we envisioned. And I'm just noticing now down the right field yeah. line, looking at a gay town or camera, and thank you for swinging around. Right. Uh, that fan that doesn't know the rules of baseball and constantly <laughs> interferes <laughs> with live balls in play, Marty. Your I think, favorite fan. <sighs> <laughs> I'm going I'm I'm to bite my tongue on that. But I believe you've allevi alleviated the situation. We have. Although, I don't think we're going to have that situation. No, anymore. and I don't think that was intentional. I think that, but that's a great <laughs> but example. Bravo, that's a great example of that entire section just being on a totally different angle. Um, just looking right into right at right to really home plate, which before they were casually looking at the center field. Yes, it. very true. Very true. Um, all right. So this is the stuff we can see. How about the mm. stuff we can't see? Yes. What do people need to know. So below us, we're working through the amenities tied to our 1600 premium seats. I think that was a little bit of a misconception. There's 1600 premium and we needed that. We had no amenities for anyone sitting in any of those seats. Um, but the rest of the seats are for everyone. And that work is still happening, whether it's washrooms and food and beverage services. Uh, and those will open mid July. And we can't really be in the Rogers Center without talking about not only baseball, but talking about someone pretty big oh, who Meredith. might be coming through. Uh, someone named Taylor Swift. Uh, what were some of those considerations potentially involved with this uh, restructure, Reno? Yeah, so obviously we turned this into a ballpark, but we want to have all of the larger concerts that are coming through Toronto. And we, we made sure that in the operations and the build, we could do that and worked really closely with all of our promoters, including Taylor's, to make sure they knew what the ballpark was going to look like. So everything that's been designed and been on sale, no one has to worry. Uh, Taylor will be good to go. And uh, But we got a lot of baseball until Taylor, so that's where our focus is right now. Uh, Marty, Marty Starkman and her incredible crew, in all sincerity, this was a wild project. You said 18 mm. months of work in five months. Is that what it was? Yeah. That's what we're saying. Okay. Can the city of Toronto just bring you guys in for all work around there the city? <laughs> Can we just steal you for a lot of I infrastructure think I'd, reasons? I'd rather stick to baseball, and I think Smart. most of our team would say the same. But we're excited for tonight. We're ready to play baseball in Toronto and can't wait for fans to see this. Marty, well played. This looks amazing in here. And congratulations to you and the team. I know it's not yeah. done, but so far, so very good. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks Happy for home joining. opener. Thank Happy you. home Happy opener. Happy home opener. All right. Speaking of.
up. Yeah. Nice segue, Marty. <laughs> How jacked are you for the home opener? That's our you sound off. We're going across the country. It's the first day of the home schedule for the Toronto Blue Jays. It's always special. Feedback at breakfasttelevision.ca. More BT coming up after this. BT is heading back to the